You're watching News 4 San Antonio, working for you. A tornado touches down in northern Indiana, and it is caught on home video. Look at that. That's a thin twister. It stayed down for only a few minutes and moved slowly, but you can see where the tornado cut through a farm field. At least one barn lost its roof, and uh, one house had some minor damage. Fortunately, though, nobody was injured. Around the nation, Washington police searched Congressman Gary Condit's apartment overnight, gathering evidence in the disappearance of Chandra Levy. We won't comment on what we found because that's the very nature of investigations that should be held confidential. Police and the FBI spent three hours searching Condit's apartment. Investigators hauled out boxes of equipment and evidence. It now goes to an FBI crime lab. Condit still hasn't agreed to a lie detector test, but says he has no information as to what happened to Chandra Levy. Former Senator Bob Dole is back in the hospital. He's suffering from an infection developed after surgery for an aneurysm. Doctors say the infection should be clearing up within a few days. Water, water everywhere in Wichita, Kansas right now. But this isn't because of rain. All this flooding was caused by a water main break. And look at that, the rushing water big enough to create a hole so big it swallowed a car and flooded nearby apartments. Actor Harrison Ford is not just a hero on the big screen, but in real life, once again, Ford used his helicopter, he flies, to make a mountain rescue in Wyoming for the second time in recent years. This time, a Boy Scout had wandered off a trail just south of Yellowstone National Park and got stranded, but Ford dropped down in his chopper and whisked the boy to safety.